this day, I pull a pair of ratty old underwear out of my drawer, I hear my mother say, what if you're in an accident? Everybody's mother said that. You see people driving really cautiously down the street, tacky underwear every time. Yeah, like they have a space on hospital charts. Condition of undies when admitted. All right. Yay. Nice job. Well, I wear old underwear whenever I please. If Heaven forbid, I am ever rushed to the emergency room. I will tell them that my undies were nice and white and clean when I left home, but they got wrecked in the accident. <laughs> Speaking of underwear, do you think Vanna really wears any under those really tight dresses? No way. Absolutely not. You're all wrong. I was reading in People magazine, and I'm positive they said that she does wear underwear. It's Pat Sajak who doesn't. <laughs> done for Vanna's book. Pictures in Playboy are just no big deal anymore. Besides, who hasn't got embarrassing pictures floating around? I know, for instance, if a certain photo of me in homeroom sitting on Wolfie Silverman's lap ever. Christy Hefner, get out your checkbook. <laughs> I wonder what it would feel like if sometime in your past you'd pose Wolfie Silverman. And then, and then found out that in next month's Playboy, I'd be a wreck. I'd be sending off notes to the airbrush guys. Dear sirs, you know what my tush? <laughs> the whole idea of strangers seeing those pictures. Mm, wormy little guys sneaking peeks at you in their desk drawer. Mm. <laughs> yeah, who wants to be in some wormy little guy's drawers? Worse. What about people you know? There are so many people I would hate to have see me in Playboy. Mom, Dad, Graham, Reverend Peterson, Miss Fisher, my fourth grade teacher, my dentist. Wolfie Silverman. No, he can see me. Woo woo! <laughs> Would you pose nude? How much are you paying her for this? Money is not the point here. It's a matter of personal integrity. Hey, who's getting offered this deal here? $25,000. Could I have it in time for Nordy's semi-annual sale? Can she wait until she has time to get into shape? Why bother? She can always get liposucked. I I've been reading a lot lately about liposuction, and the whole thing kind of makes me nervous. Yeah, me too. Say you're laying on the table, and the doctor's got you hooked up to the Hoover or whatever, and then he gets a phone call from his wife, and they start arguing, and he forgets what he's doing, and pretty soon you're laying there, and there's nothing left. That's it! The deal is off! Oh, come on. Now, is this $25,000 firm, or can we negotiate? How can you even consider doing that? There you'd be. Just two little eyeballs looking out of the vacuum. And then, 